second, only 1.71 point back. That's the story so far is Paul and Islam, what they did earlier. Yes, yes no question. Quantum leap here. But always, whenever we gather for the national championships, these two are the story in dance. They are the marquee, the headliners. Olympic champions, world champions, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. They skate to the waltz goes on. competing here since they were basically out of diapers together. They've danced together, they become the best in the world, and they always raise the roof. Their elegance continues to grow, the pedigree continues to grow, their chemistry is palpable, it has been since they got together. What yes. do you say when you see something like well, that? Well, let's, let's get to the good, the technical side of it, and what the judges and the technical panel are seeing. Perfection. Look at the unison. Look at the body position, the line of the back in absolute unison. Not in and out of unison. Every position, one movement leads into the next. Look at the sweeping arms, 
to match the free legs. Now look at the free legs, the legs in the air, the detail, the point, how the blades leave the ice is exactly in unison, and it's felt throughout the position. There, there's no moments where they just kind of go on to the next. Every move is choreographed in itself, every detail. What I loved about this performance, Rod, was the balance artistically and technically. Sometimes they get so caught up in the dance that they become a little flawed technically, maybe giving up a level here and there. And that's something that they know they really have to work on. And I thought they found the line here today. I'm waiting to see now the, the technical panel come up. I believe it will be level fours across the board. And that's not just because it's a Canadian panel. The technical panel, it's black and white. It's, it's, it's not how you feel about them or being, being partial. Absolutely black and white. Last year, they got nailed at the Canadian Championship. Technically, if you remember, um, after the short dance, there was so, some concern with that. He was peeved, too. He yes. was not happy. Yes, he was. So i uh, waiting now for, for the scores to come up, but I believe they're going to get all of the highest levels. And that's one of the things they needed to hear here at Canadian. How am I doing? If I've got the levels now, let's bump it up artistically And let's face again. it, again, this is uh, no, there's no sure thing in sports, but this is pretty much a sure thing that they're going to win this title. Bring on Carmen, which everybody is anticipating, seeing the free dance. This is all about massage, about getting well, ready and polishing go. towards sure. the World Championship. And they're in. They're in. They want to be at Sochi. There was a concern maybe a couple of years ago they wouldn't stay in for another Winter Olympics. They want to defend their Winter Olympic title. Oh, sure. And, they, you know, they have a tremendous following worldwide. Um, the Russian uh, ice dancers and coaches love them and look to them for inspiration, which is so different than in my day. Um, but also what they have to deal with in their face every day in their training rink, yeah, Davis and rivals. White. And they, they are such a wonderful, it, they absolutely it pushes them to be this better. Watch this. Watch this. All watch this. level four oh across the board. 79 4 And a host of tens from the judges for the quality. So you said it, Tracy, as close as you can get to perfect. Artistically and technically, and that's the combination that they are looking for. And look at, you know what I, you got to like about competitors like this? Okay, we've done that, now let's get ready for tomorrow. That's right, that's right. Back to right. business. Look at that number, 79.04. Put that number into perspective on uh, a world level. Well, it's, it's blown it out of the park. The judges here um, awarding huge marks for the quality. We always have to look at that it is a hometown judging panel from the judges, not the technical panel. Put that into the mix. Um, they're six points above what's being done internationally. Wow. Grand, so it's exactly what they wanted, Rod. Grand slam home run. Let's go down to Sarah. Rod and Tracy have been discussing about the mixture now between technical marks and artistry for you two. Is this the combination that you two were looking for? Yeah, I think this program is finally starting to get to uh, where we wanted it, kind of where we envisioned it going at the beginning of the year. And um, We were nervous about this one today. We spent a lot of time working on this program over over our, uh, our last month, and we wanted it to show through. So um, that, that created some nerves for us, but we felt like we went out there and relied on our training and skated well. So it's a, it's a big boost for us for the start of the year. Excellent. We look forward to seeing what you have in store for us tomorrow. Congratulations, you Thank two. you very much. Tessa Virtue, Scott Moyer, flirting with perfection again. There you go. They just keep doing it. Hi everyone,